Good morning and blessings to everybody as we get ready to head into the weekend. I pray that everybody is doing well. Now let's go ahead and begin our service. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O oh God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 118, verses 19 through 24. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The third article of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Through this article, the Holy Spirit with his office is declared and shown. He makes people holy. There are many kinds of spirits mentioned in the Holy Scriptures, such as the spirit of man, heavenly spirits, and evil spirits. But God's Spirit alone is called the Holy Spirit, that is, he who has sanctified and still sanctifies us. The Holy Spirit causes our sanctification by the following the communion of saints, or the Christian church, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. That means he leads us first into his holy congregation, places us in the bosom of the church, and through the church he preaches to us and brings us to Christ. For Christ has acquired and gained the treasure for us by his suffering, death, resurrection, and so on. But if the work remained concealed so that no one knew about it, then it would be useless and lost. So that this treasure might not, be, might not stay buried, but be received and enjoyed, God has caused the word to go forth and be proclaimed. In the word, he has the Holy Spirit bring this treasure home and make it our own. And therefore, sanctifying is just bringing us to Christ so that we receive this good, which we could not get ourselves. And selected readings from the large catechism.
have mercy. O Christ, have mercy. O Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Let my cry come to you. In the day of my trouble I call upon you, for you answer me. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. For you have been my help, and in the shadow of your wings I will sing for joy. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart. And I will glorify your name forever. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Save your people and bless your heritage. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. And listen to my plea for grace. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, give us grace to trust you during this time of illness and distress. In mercy, put an end to the epidemic that afflicts us. Grant relief to those who suffer and comfort all that mourn. Sustain all medical personnel in their labors and cause your people ever to serve you in righteousness and holiness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Lord, you are the great physician of soul and body. You chasten and you heal. Show mercy to your servants. Spare their lives and restore their strength. Even as you gave your Son to bear our infirmities and sicknesses, deal compassionately with your servants and bless them with your healing power. We commit them to your gracious mercy and protection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Most merciful Father, you have committed to our love and care our fellow human beings and their necessities. Graciously be with and prosper all those who serve the sick and those in need. Let their service be abundantly blessed as they bring relief to the suffering, comfort to the sorrowing, and peace to the dying. Grant them the knowledge that inasmuch as they do it unto the least of the Master's brethren, they do it unto him. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, 
through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>